Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with our daily TA. The chart that you're watching right now is the S&P 500 futures and as you can see we had here a big hit overnight and currently we are plunging here. We are seeing kind of a breather to the upside but we have to analyze if this is going to be a bottom here or we are right now entering a downtrend and we're going to see the complete play out of this rising wedge here in the S&P 500 and of course also on Bitcoin because Bitcoin exactly followed the S&P 500 mini futures and currently also on the Bitcoin price we are seeing a big dump but let's analyze and let's check out all the time frames and what are the targets and the forecast for the next couple of hours and days and therefore we can start now with the one hour time frame because currently here you can see clearly that after yesterday's consolidation wedge we broke out to the downside I told you that we have to wait and see on Monday where we're gonna open again the stock market and also if we're gonna create a new future gap on the CME chart and we have a little tiny CME gap here in the one hour time frame up to 9455 but this gap is really a small one and we can only see it in the one hour time frame so I don't give it too much significance like it would be in the four hour or daily time frame so this little gap here in theory can be filled at any time of course but currently I don't give it too much significance and I think we are possibly seeing a confirmation in next coming hours that we're gonna have this new $9,300 area here as a resistance also here in the CME chart and if we go back to the bitstamp chart here also you can see that this $9,300 area where previous we had support currently could be acting as a resistance and therefore I'm gonna wait right now to entering possible shorts if we're gonna have this confirmation that we have now 9300 as a resistance because so far we dropped down to the next fib line here at $8,900. This was the first target that I also mentioned yesterday to reach in case of a breakdown to the downside. So we came here to the first 0.236 fib line based on the move that we had with this top of $10,500. And currently we met our first target. But as you know, if you were following my videos, my final target for this play out of this bigger rising wedge that we were in, in the last couple of days, which we will see later on in the daily time frame, is between 8,000 down to even 6,500 in the worst case. But I'm gonna scale in my longs and also buying back in into Bitcoin starting from 8K, possibly also where the 200 daily moving average is. So here in the one hour, you can see that we're trading now below the 20 moving average. So in theory, we have now this move averages acting as a resistance so let's see if we can at least a week above or close above here the 20 moving average at 9220 this could indicate that maybe we're gonna see here a test of 9350 where also the 50 moving average is lining up currently we have the RSI below the 15 the RSI and stochastic coming back up here in neutral territory so it looks like that we're gonna see a breather here possibly to test the new resistance and also here in the Bollinger Band you can see that after overshooting it to the downside currently we retrace back into the middle line so in theory we should stay here between 9130 up to 9250 and possibly getting rejected here and that would indicate that we could easily drop towards the bottom here of $9,000 again. MACD could have here a bullish cross very soon so that could mean that we will see this possible test of $9,300. And if we go over to the four hour time frame here, also it is looking like that we're gonna see a possible breather to the upside here to test the 20 moving average in the four hour, which currently is here at 9,350, also coinciding with our new resistance. We have the RSI and stochastic in oversold condition after this big move to the downside. So I still think that if you want to open a short position, maybe wait here, for a possible test of 9350 and if we get confirmation that this is now the new resistance we possibly are good to go to the downside and see the play out here of this rising wedge that we were in here in the last couple of days and if we go over into the Bollinger Band here in the four hour you can see that we are still overshooting into the downside so also here I think even though the momentum is now shifted to the downside we will most likely retrace back here into the middle line between 9300 and 9380 
before we see a continuation of this dump. So I think if you want to take out profits or open shorts, wait here for a confirmation, for a retest of the new resistance. And this might be the last chance to take out a bit of profits if you think that we're really gonna fall down towards $8,000 again. MACD is also shifted to the downside, so even though we could see a breather to the upside, keep in mind that the momentum is now shifted to the downside. And also if we go over to the daily time frame, here you can see that we now had the confirmation that the 20 daily moving average currently here at 9,460 was acting as a resistance. We got rejected and now we saw the breakout to the downside and the target is at least down here at the 200 daily moving average, which is at $8,200. So this is the line that I'm watching currently to start to open up longs and also buy back in the profits that I took out here in this range. We could in theory also fall down towards the 0.618 fib line here so that doesn't mean that i will go all in here at 8200 i will start to scale in down to this price level at the moment i don't think we will go much lower in the worst case so this is the range where i'm going to buy back in and start to opening longs if we fall lower then of course we're going to have even more cheaper prices but this is at least the range of this uh, breakout from this rising wedge that we were in in the last couple of days you see also that the rsi is now trading below the 50 so now we are trading here in the lower part and we have a lot of room left to the downside stochastic is coming in oversold territory but we also can stay in this area for quite some time so as you can see here in the daily i still think that we could easily reach here this area between the 200 daily moving average and the 0.618 fib line only because usually bitcoin likes to retest the 0.618 fib line and also the 200 daily moving average is now the exact target of this breakout from uh, this wedge and if we go over to the bollinger band in the daily time frame here also you can see that currently the macd shifted to the downside and in the bollinger band we are right at the bottom so also here there is a high chance that we are trading again towards the middle area here of 9500 but getting rejected there because we're trading now in the lower part so that means that the momentum is clearly now shifted to the downside and with this drop that we had now overnight you can see how easily it can shift from bullish to bearish so right now I am more bearish than bullish and also I am looking for shorts currently and trying to swap it over back into longs once we're gonna hit my targets down towards $8,000 and we can stay quickly here in the daily time frame and have a look also here on the S&P 500 futures because here also you can see that currently we're trading below the 200 daily moving average and also below the 20 daily moving average. Here if we zoom out you can see my price targets which are here between 2800 and also 2700 dollar so that is here the point. 382 and the 0.5 fib line it is possible also that we will go that low here towards the 0.618 fib line but i think most likely we're gonna bottom out somewhere here where we had a lot of support and resistance area here at around 2800 dollars so this is my main target for the s p mini futures so we have to see in the next couple of days where we're gonna bottom because in the worst case if we really drop below and also take out this low that we had here at 2200 then also we could see a major crash also in the crypto space and that would take bitcoin even lower than the bottom that we had at three thousand eight hundred dollar and that would be really catastrophe so let's hope that we will not drop that low also here in the s p 500 so let's go back into the bitcoin chart and let's open up also the weekly time frame because here it will be very important that we're not gonna start to trade below the 20 weekly moving average so in theory we shouldn't close a weekly candle below eight thousand five hundred forty otherwise we could lose here this momentum that we build it up here to the upside and we could be heading even towards here the 200 weekly moving average which is currently at six thousand dollar so that would be really the worst case scenario in my opinion for now if we're gonna lose here the 200 weekly moving average and start to trade again below of it then i think we could see prices even below 3800 and that would be really bad for the long time frame but of course we will get very very cheap bitcoins that's the only advantage for that scenario but honestly i don't think that we will see those prices ever again i mean therefore also the stock market would need to collapse completely and also here in the weekly time frame you see that the stochastic is overbought so a cool off here is very likely and also here the rsi is still trading above the 50 level so currently we are still good to go even though we could see here this retracement back down 
down which I'm also expecting to come but if we're really gonna lose significant price levels especially here the $6,400 level then of course it is starting to look really bearish but if we are cooling off here towards 8k to 6400 and recover back up I think this could lead into a big breakout here of the main resistance and therefore also into a big big bull run and as I mentioned it already in the last couple of videos I still think we could be in a big inverse head and shoulders pattern so that means the price will eventually come down here to test these levels again and then on the next attempt here to break the main resistance level at that time it will be at around $9,000 then we will see the big breakout to the upside and potentially start a new big bull run. But till then, I still think we're gonna see this retracement back down to the 0.618 Fib line or at least a retest of this 200 daily moving average, which is lining up with the 0.382 fib line and also if you go over to the longs and shorts ratio you can see that currently we have still a lot of longs comparing to shorts so i want to see this correlation swept so i want to see more shorts than longs to start to scale in my longs and rebuy back into bitcoin because usually that indicates that we're gonna see a big reversal otherwise everything is still looking good also if you have a look on the hash rate we recovered immediately back up we're taking a little hit currently but everything is still looking very good also here in the hash rate of bitcoin so everything is still okay and i think this dump that we are seeing currently is just the beginning and was very expected to see something like this a little cool off also in the stock market to recover immediately back up and then have the big breakout all right guys and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now remember that we still have this 100 dollar extra bonus on bybit until the 20th of june so if you need an account over on bybit or you already signed up with my link that you find down below here to register up to bybit where you anyway can get 90 dollars completely for free if you put a 0.2 Bitcoin deposit into your wallet until the 20th of June, you will get an extra $100 bonus. So go ahead and claim this as long as they're giving you this promotion. And also if you want to trade on multiple exchanges, you can use the other sign up links that you find down below here in the video description, because with my links, you can get everywhere some sign up bonuses, $72 for example on Femex and also on BitYard, they have a very nice rewards and welcome bonus program. So go ahead ahead and check it out you find all the links down below here make sure also to join the discord trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is welcome and i'm doing the live streams over on twitch so you find the link to twitch also down below here in the video description so thank you very much for watching guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel we do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 500 subscribers thank you for watching and we see us all in the next one bye